that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Hi guys, we're just setting up the camera here. Let's see here. Okay, that looks good. See, I'm, I'm always uh, a little bit weak, Mike. It's, it, I notice it weak? says, yeah, your connection is weak a lot of times out oh, here. And I it'll, see that. it'll yeah. go away. Okay. And uh, well, hopefully it works out. We can look at the back. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're just getting ready to see who's going to hop on here this Sunday evening. It's David and Eva Lise, and um, we're gonna add this. This is gonna be a new series, kind of our Sunday series of health and wellness um, information, just because that's kind of a big part of our lives, and we um, we talk about it a lot, and we talk about it with other people a lot, and they talk to us about it a lot. <laughs> um, it's it's a big part of our lives, so. Um, and we kind of started out that way together. Um, Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Welcome. Hey, Stephanie. Um, we started out that way, talking about that kind of stuff when we were first together and um, raising our children and, and growing and learning together. It was really um, something fun to have in common, to right. really care about our health and care about um, what we're doing and what we're learning. And um, so, yeah, we like that and, or, or, you know, that was kind of a fun start in our marriage. And so it was really important for us to find all the right information that we wanted to um, know. And we had to sift through so much. Hey, Onoa, you're on this <laughs> journey too with us. Um, another fun, um, someone to talk to about health and wellness. And um, if you guys wanna, you know, add in any comments or uh, questions, that'll be awesome and, and like the, the live so that more people can see that we're on and, and what's going on. So that's fun. Um, yeah, so getting back to health and wellness and wanting to live a healthier life, um, kind of a, or what did I say, a longer life, mm -hmm. but kind of more of a healthier one so that you're enjoying that life, long life. Because if you're going to live really long, you don't want that end time to not be fun and be um, miserable, if mm. you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, right on, right on, hon. Oh no, why we just started, so you're all good. Um, so we, I was thinking about what to start with because we're going to do this series, and I really wanted to talk about. Hi, Susie. Welcome. Thanks for joining us, you guys, all the girls. Um, <laughs> was where where we started and and kind of how to start and what we started doing when we wanted to go in, learn more about um, health and wellness, and that really was um, a the big jump was education. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we just started really educating ourselves on a lot of things and then a lot of trial and error. So uh, something that made us think about this was how we were talking about how we've changed a lot of our eating habits so that we feel better, even just in the moment. Not something that's gonna help, well, it's definitely gonna help for the long run, like way um, down the line, but something that really helps us now is how we're feeling now and what affects how we feel. So, um, hey Lise, and we, uh, one of the biggest ones was sugar. So um, whenever I take it out of my diet or I go, I, I really try hard not to ingest any sugar, um, processed sugar, or I just try really hard to limit it, um, but not cutting it out completely, completely, because I don't want to um, live in that. I want to be able to control what I'm doing and, and, and understand how it's feeling so that I'm um, conscious of it and aware of it. So. Hey Jeff, glad you could join us. So with that, I realized that when I'm not eating sugar, um, I'm actually feeling a whole lot better. And then when I put it back into my diet or I, I have some, I can tell the difference big time. So it took a time to take it away to really feel it. But um, anyway, going back to the education part, um, we've done a lot of reading books, um, articles, and sifting through all that because a lot of people have a lot of different opinions so really just understanding all the topics and then watching a lot of documentaries so we wanted to put this out there so that you guys if you're kind of wanting to go on a maybe a different path or learn um, more about health and wellness what would you do first um, and what have you done first so if any of you want to uh, you know hop on and let us know we can uh, start that conversation yeah what we've talked about before is not trying to take on too much all at once if for example you're beginning a journey in improving your health habits just picking one or two things to uh, 
to uh, to change and uh, we kind of did that and just as time went on added uh, uh, you know different uh, different things uh, one, one and I'll just give you one example uh, a few years ago um, we started talking about the uh, blood type diet which uh, was fascinating and uh, if you were to google that you could pull that up and, and see what that's all about if you're not familiar with it but uh, we're both A blood types mm -hmm. and found out that there were certain things in our diet for example that were not ideal um, for us and um, so we have made it a point to eliminate those things uh, out of our diet uh, and, and we're not like completely um, um, well, we like lessened, you know, we... Oh, we, uh, we definitely reduced it, reduced and it, it, yeah. it made a huge difference yeah. when we noticed we were not eating, as opposed to making sure we ate certain things, yeah. Yeah. Or just, just eliminating different. certain things that don't make you feel 100%, that right there was huge. Well, that, and that goes along to that trial and error part of what you're doing. So, mm -hmm. um, hey, Nancy, we tried a lot of different things. We've tried a lot of different things, um, a lot of different ideas, and... Mm -hmm. um, recipes and ingredients and all that all of that and what we found with the blood type diet was that it really it's the eating right for your blood type it's mm -hmm. not really a diet it's just you know changing the way you eat or whatever right. and knowing what's good for you but I found so many um, positives from that not negatives that I kept going with it and I, so I feel better when I eat certain foods and when I you know compared to the other foods so that was something that you can try you, you know it may not work for you or you may not like it at all but it's really cool to try something different yeah that, that word diet I was just thinking about yeah, it when we yeah. we throw that around and, and uh, uh, we, we get the idea that okay you do this for a short period of time it's a diet right it's just right you know right. it's a, a short-term thing and then you go back to doing whatever yeah. um, and uh, as time, lifestyle change. right and yeah. so as time's gone on uh, we use that word diet but uh, we're, we're, we're uh, well, that's a hard place to live. That's a hard yeah. place to be and just do and everything. So it's more of a understanding and educating yourself so you understand um, why you might want to eat something, why you don't want to eat something, mm -hmm. or why you want to do a certain exercise, you know, compared to another one. Where yeah, I'm, that's a, mm -hmm, I ahead. tried running, and I'm not a runner. I don't <laughs> mind it. It wasn't, you know, it's hard. It's not bad or whatever. It's kind of fun sometimes. But I noticed that every time I did, even though after six months of you know doing it consistently, I was tired. I was completely gone the rest of the day. It was just like I wasn't getting anything done. Yeah. I did not feel energized. It just wasn't right. And that kind of coincided with the blood type, um, the eating right for your blood type, because it said that with the blood type A, it, you don't need those hardcore exercises. The yeah, hard I try, I, for example, triathlon, yeah. even though the idea sounds really appealing to me, yeah. uh, it I wouldn't be ideal. Um, and so as I've gotten older, I've gotten accustomed to the idea of doing uh, low impact, mm -hmm. uh, you know, yoga, yeah. for example, and swimming and things that... Mm -hmm. uh, um, Lifting weights, but not like going crazy on it. Real you. light weights, you know, just things that were. But, I, but yeah. you have to find out what works for you. Yeah, so like, exactly. You know, uh, other things like that have worked for us. But if you're somebody who's um, craves that energy mm -hmm. or that uh, those really hardcore um, cardio type things, like our son Carlin, he does yeah. so much better when he's doing really hard right. cardio and and workouts but like he's soccer. an o he's an o right, right? right. so, so we totally he's different. a different cat yeah. man that guy you can't you he's like a racehorse you gotta yeah. run him man. right right and then when he does that he is um he's so much more calm and it's yeah. homework done and he's just a pleasure to be around so you can right. tell when he needs it <laughs> that's funny so yeah there's some things that we've done differently there's things that we have tried trial and error things that you know like oh this doesn't work for us this works for us so we really we just want to emphasize is, is educating yourself and how can we do that reading a lot of reading um, asking questions what do other people do and what have they found that works for them mm -hmm. um, articles but you have to sift through a lot to find out what um, you know what, what jives with you and what works for you like paleo um, diet uh, you know mm -hmm. more of a vegetarian you've got all these different things so you just have to find out works, works yeah. best, best for you um, what else was I going to say? Okay. Well, just and also as far as uh, nutritional education, mm -hmm. we we ta we uh, um, 
tie in with um, nutritional experts mm -hmm. uh, in the industry um, at the university level, for example, and and we, um, you know, keep we'll try to, to keep up, and, go to lectures, keep yeah. up on the latest. Uh, you know, cutting edge research in the nutritional field yeah. and that kind of stuff. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we like it. It's kind of fun. So yeah. we're going to try to keep this series going so that we can pass on that to you. Um, right. So, because it's something we've kind of gathered over the years and we really love and people ask us about it all the time. So this is a fun way to share. Um, good? Yeah, I mean, again, I just, uh, getting back to what you were saying earlier about, uh, you know, we, we, all of us, each of us, obviously do not know how long we're going to live mm -hmm. uh, but the idea is uh, at least for as far as Elise and I are concerned and I'm sure as far as you're concerned I'm sure everybody would have that goal of being able to have vitality and feel good in their own mm -hmm. skin mm -hmm. uh, as long as they possibly can uh, uh, but in order to do that we believe that you've got to be proactive and yep. and start doing things now yeah. so that so you can care. ensure to the extent that you can that down the road mm -hmm. you're uh, you know you're still doing the things that uh, you want to do because I'm sure each of us know uh, the people in our lives who uh, uh, really had a rough mm -hmm. go at the end and yeah. uh, yeah. You know, for me, that that just provided a lot of incentive. Yeah, I don't want to go. You know, yeah. I don't want to go that way, laying in a bed or you know whatever it is, and yeah. not being able to uh, you know wipe my own butt or uh, <laughs> or you know feed myself. You know, <laughs> right, all right. that stuff. So well, so anyway, we hope that you guys do whatever you can to. Um, we want to encourage you to find the resources that you would love to find, and we'll start you know adding that into these uh, lives and different videos and blog blog posts. So. Um, check out David and um, and our fan page and our oh I got a mosquito um, anyway um, so to your health and to your wellness and we hope it's um, it's a cool journey and we'd love to join you on it thanks have a great time all right great day. bye bye, -bye.